The UK's Deputy Prime Minister Dominic Raab's controversial Bill of Rights may be struck down again, leading the government to perform yet another U-turn. This week alone, Rishi Sunak U-turned over planning and long-pledged works of legislation. According to reports, Sunak was urged by the former Justice Secretary Robert Buckland to avoid this clash in Parliament. The main concerns are that it may spark a row between Tory MPs and be blocked by the House of Lords, which could further stall the progress of other bills. The Bill of Rights has been Rob's crucial project for years. He proposed it under David Cameron and revived the idea under Boris Johnson before Liz Truss scrapped it during her short-lived tenure. Sunak promised to bring the bill back, but MPs have not yet begun debating it. But what exactly is the Bill of Rights which Rob wants to introduce? Well, it's designed to give legal supremacy to the UK Supreme Court. And it also states that the UK courts can disregard rulings from the European Convention on Human Rights. The major reason for this? To help solve the impasse over the removal of migrants who arrive by irregular means. The bill will also introduce new restrictions on how human rights can be used in claims against the UK government. In recent days, Sunak's control over his internal party matters has come under the radar. On Monday, he scrapped the mandatory housing target. On Tuesday, he reversed the ban on onshore wind farms. He also saw the approval of a new coal mine. All this in the face of potential Tory rebellions.